Hey Moby Game here, welcome to another video, hope you guys are all well. Uh, welcome to Antarctica 88, uh, this is a sci-fi horror game. I hope you guys are all been well, thank you to my uh, new subscribers, welcome guys and thank you to my existing subscribers. Okay, so here we're going to jump right into the game. Alright, so this is basically where it starts, um, you're starting off in a cave here, okay, so there we got to pick up a shotgun. Okay, so this is a, a awesome game. Um, as you can see, the graphics are very, very good. Um, the size, it's about 280 megabytes, uh, if I'm correct. Okay, so it's quite small. Um, yeah, and it's also available on Android and iOS. I'll put the links in below for you guys. It's a new game. Uh, like I said, it's a sci-fi horror, so uh, with puzzles as well. <laughs> like here, you gotta um, break the, 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 it says break the crate. But basically you've got to move it so that you can jump on the crate and then on the top and then go through there. I struggled a bit, uh, but I'm just going to show you guys how I did get it right. So you pick up the crate, you put it over there. And then these buttons on top, this up and down arrows. Uh, you're going to use the one that points up and you're going to jump on the crate and then jump on the other box. And then you're going to shoot um, that vent. Um, you know, then you, you go through there and that's how it starts. Yeah. So I just saved you guys some time there. <laughs> okay, I hope you all been well. Um, I hope you enjoying the the um, the videos as well. Uh, if you're into horror games, uh, this is sci-fi horror. Obviously, then this is one is for you. Uh, it's not big in size, so yeah, it's quite a, and it's an awesome game. The graphics are amazing. I mean, look at this uh, nice storyline as well. Oh, okay, yes, it, uh, it's like a yeah, sci-fi. This is like aliens attacking you and stuff. There's like an alien kind of a horror uh, theme behind it. And look at the lighting, it's awesome. Uh, it's always important when the graphics, like I always say in all my videos, the graphics are very important, along with the gameplay. So this has it all. Gameplay is smooth, um, there's no lagging. Uh, it's easy to use the controls as well. When you move on the left, um, it's just straightforward. And then the shooting is the button in the middle. It's easy to move around and aim and shoot, which is quite nice. Um, and also the, the graphics are very very good and obviously it's got that uh, puzzle thing going on you know you're like thinking in a game you get games where you think yeah, and solve puzzles to move forward uh, then this game is for you and it's got that hard effect in it as well with alien um, you know science fiction kind of a theme all right so here we go so here you go here's another puzzle <laughs> so basically not really like a puzzle but you got to jump over here so you just got to be careful when you press the jump button um yeah Oh goodness, okay so there I go down again, lucky we can respawn, so you just respawn from here. Okay so we're going back in this one. Alright so I'm gonna get it right now, I'm sure. Okay, so there we're over. So we're almost there, just the one more. Okay let's just take a big step back and let's move forward. Okay let's go, here we go. Okay we've committed and we've done it and we've made it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to jump on that last one as well. I thought you could just walk over it, so okay, it's just a bit overconfident there. Next time I'll pay attention. Okay, so it's a long way down, but we're going to do it this time. Okay, hit that like button if you think we're going to do it this time. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we've done it. Okay, awesome. Yay. All right, so we're over. So yeah, so let's see, where do we go now? So it's a lot of tunnels and stuff in here. Um, oh, okay, there's another alien, scary little uh, thing. Okay, one, two, yeah, so about two shots and then you take them down. That looks like little aliens, eh? Uh, they're obviously creeping all around in the holes and stuff here. Okay, so let's move a little bit forward. Um, okay, where am I? Oh, here's a guy here. Where did he come from? He wasn't there a minute ago when I turned to the right. I mean, he disappeared. Okay, so here's another one. Ooh, okay, so luckily we got a shotgun. One shot there. Okay, when that took him down, two shots. All right, so let's move forward. So there's times when you need to also crawl here. And obviously you can also stand up. When you push the up button, it moves you up as well. Um, yeah, so basically we're moving ahead, trying to see where we got to go. There's a lot of tunnels. Uh, looks like we got to work our way out of these tunnels. Um, and obviously get to the, um, I would assume, the surface. Oh my word, what is this? Mm, goodness, okay, so this is a huge alien coming here. Uh, this looks like a boss battle that we're going to do. I wonder if this is going to take place right now. Okay, so that was area one, so now we're going to area two. And now it says a few hours before. 
wow, this is cool. So it's going back um, to tell you what happened before you appeared where you are. So this is the station. Um, over the past six months, the expedition of my father Vladimir was engaged in drilling. Okay, so basically we're busy with prehistoric minerals and they found something here in the Antarctic uh, station. Six weeks ago, the expedition stopped communicating. Today, we arrived in four-man's rescue squad. Okay, so basically, they stopped getting communication from these guys, and you arrived to come see what's happening. And obviously, here you can see something took place. I mean, look at the marks in the snow and stuff, and on the machinery. So it looks like there were, um, you know, something took place here. Okay, so... So you're waking up now in the bed, obviously you took a nap, um, okay, and find a way to get warm, okay, most definitely you're going to have to get warm here, yeah, because it's in the Antarctica, it must be very, very cold there, okay, so yeah, so you can pick it there, uh, what's this here, okay, so pick up the map, what do you want to say, yeah, so here's a save, um, where you can save a progression, so that's important, you don't lose, um, all your hard work that you put in and your gameplay time. So there we go. Alright, I must say the, the, the graphics is amazing on this game. Um, for, for, for the size, it's it's very, very good. A lot of timing put in this game. Uh, you know, look at the colors and stuff. It's, it's absolutely awesome. A lot of detail, time. You can see when some... But it takes time to, to develop again. This is just it's very, very good. Okay, so here's the toilet. Um, I don't think we're gonna be in here. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay, I've just tied myself in the corner here. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna climb over the door, but let's just open it from a distance. Okay, there we go. So let's go through. All right, so we're having a look around. We need to find out how we're gonna get ourselves warm here. I will freeze. I need warm clothes. Of course, you need clothes. But where is the cupboard? Is that the cupboard over there? Uh, this looks a bit small for that kind of cupboard with all the clothes. Uh, okay, it's basically empty. Um, I don't see anything inside here. But, um, okay, there's Topsy in the okay. Okay, all the stuff on the board. Um, what is this? No, no, it's not this. Okay, so let's close that. There's another cupboard on the right-hand corner. All right, must be this cupboard. Okay, let's open it. And what does it say? Find a way to get warm. Awesome. Okay, so that's a tick off. We found the way to get warm. So let's head outside and see what's going on here. Wow, look how it looks outside. Okay, so here you can see somebody was walking. Looks like real cold here. Uh, Alexi, Jack, Harry, where are you? Okay, so he's looking for his friends. Uh, here's footprints. Uh, which you can obviously follow, so there's a lot of uh, different bases all around here that you obviously need to check out. So, this will probably take you some time. Uh, looks like you got to first figure out what happened here, because something definitely took place um, in this. Uh, I just thought I'd show you guys a bit of the game. I'm not going to show you too long, otherwise the video is going to take up the whole, probably a whole hour, uh, with all the puzzles and stuff. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoying it so far till now. Just wanted to show you guys this game. This is also a hidden gem. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so we need to look around. Yeah, so we need to figure out where do we get in here. Um, I don't see a doorway on this side. No, is there a door? Okay, what is this? Okay, let's have a look and see what this is here. Uh, this looks like a power generator kind of thing. Right, let's just click. Seems there is no fuel. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to probably power that up. So we're going to need some fuel. Uh, where do you find fuel here? There must be a fuel dump where they put all the fuel. Okay, that's obviously the car to drive around. Um, gorge. Okay, I don't see nothing over here. Okay, what's that canister? That looks like a fuel canister over there. Let's go take a closer look. What is this? Uh, picked up. Okay, there we go. So there we found the fuel. My word, that fuel canister was hiding like away, <laughs> right around the corner, hiding on its own over here. Okay, so we gotta be careful next to this thing here as well. All right, so that's number one. Uh, then also we gotta obviously figure out how we're gonna get that thing started. That's another part of the puzzles as well. Yeah, it's, this game's got it all. It's got puzzles, uh, alien, um, horror, and it's got everything that one needs inside this game. 
Okay, so this is also a trail of what happened. Okay, obviously we can go up there as well. I was going to check out quickly on this side. Let's just see if this works quickly. Let's have a look. Okay, so we press it. What does it say? There's still no fuel. Okay, so you guys can figure it out from here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow again. Cheers.